Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trombone First Aid. Today we are talking about legato. Normally everybody of us have been, have been taught of playing legato using the tongue. Actually this is possible and this is also a common way to do that. But I would really like to start this topic from another point of view. For me, the best legato you can achieve is when you play a perfect glissato that is so fast and so clean that nobody can notice it. Starting with the tongue in your mind, we always try to cut the airflow and hide those noises, those little uh, glissatos that we may uh, let using the slide. But using the tongue it's just hiding the ash under the carpet you actually don't solve the problem you just cheat in order to not let people hear the little glissatos or uh, imperfections in your passages i think approaching the legato playing starting from glissato is something more healthy uh, in terms of quality of sound and ability to make longer phrases and musical uh, lines. When you always think about a glissato, it's mm, natural uh, to connect notes, to mm, make jumps sound more even and more horizontal instead of making steps that you can easily uh, recognize or miss. So when you play glissato, uh, it is actually closer to the natural way of playing trombone, which naturally has just slide, mouthpiece, so no uh, way to stop the air. About the legato technique, I think a good starting point is the flexibility video I posted some time ago. Uh, in this video, I show how to uh, think about uh, flexibility in a very horizontal way. So, actually, every step you play in the flexibility is like legato, because it's a jump into uh, different harmonics. This kind of steps should be even, should be kind of uh, at the same level in terms of quality of sound and uh, continuous emission. If you manage to make those steps sound very easy, very close the one to the other, then this is a very uh, good um, base for a very nice legato. which is different than The last one is not useful to make this even legato, this long phrasing way of blowing air. You can practice, of course, playing flexibility in the same position or using other kind of exercises with other positions. So the idea is to make it sound really even and giving a continuous airflow, just changing the balance between airflow and embouchure to compensate the difference of harmonic. I like this kind of exercises because they let you have a perfect legato. So you don't actually need the use of the tongue because every step is in a different uh, harmonic. So you have the feeling that uh, the air stream is already cut by stepping up or down in harmonics. Once that you feel comfortable with this kind of exercises, you can go on combining perfect uh, legato with normal legato, which normally would require you to use the tongue.
so you can really try to be uh, to match one to the other and find the good timing mostly uh, coordination is affecting uh, legato because uh, the way you think about music the way you blow air and the exact position the slider is in will affect the final result a very good coordination will help you achieve a clean and soft legato for this reason it is also very important to refer to the slide technique uh, because coordination and the awareness of the position is very important to help you really switch between notes in the moment you are actually in the right position. Whenever you move the slide too late or too early or too slow or too fast, something will happen with your legato. I really encourage you to work a lot on coordination so you can reduce the amount and the use of tongue in the legato practice. Because anytime you introduce the tongue, you also increase the risk of stopping the phrase and cutting your sound down. Of course, legato is a very important and delicate topic which cannot be solved in a few minutes video. But nevertheless, I hope you liked it and if so, you can just thumb up down there and sub subscribe my channel. And if you have any question or comment, just write down below. Have a nice day.